Hello guys, well, we are back to the saga of the boys' bedroom. We have finally achieved sofa downstairs, so the other sofa is now here, it has been brought downstairs, and I have already actually restructured this bedroom three times now for the sofa coming in, but two little ones and Dean's at home, well Dean's here, I shouldn't say at home, he's here. Um, so I've now got to try again getting some form of functionality because what's an irony in this whole saga of what's going on is it's meant to be about protecting the vulnerable and I have been on and off with social care pretty much all my life and today I have finally made a decision because back in 2010 I was a single mother supported by the system, okay? And I'd had enough, I wanted a husband. And when you are a woman with a physical condition and you're supported by the system, they either expect you to have a husband who supports you or you're on your own. People think that this women have all of the rights. They actually don't and actually none of us do. The reality is none of us have any rights it's an illusion of rights so I have a physical condition it's called Erlos Danlos syndrome I hope my sound is better with my headphones on so you're gonna have to tell me whether you find it easier with my headphones on or with my headphones off and I'll listen back and, and try and work it out so obviously people have challenged me for a long time over go back to Aaron and Faith with not immunizing Aaron and Faith and homeschooling and traveling with them with my career. And I still want to do the same for Elijah and Shiloh. Nothing's changed. So obviously I've got a makeshift carpet in here. So I was concerned about moving this around and whether my little makeshift would cover the floor properly. And actually it has, it's worked out okay. So I'm trying to find a way of Obviously, as a human being, we have to provide ourselves with an income. That income is what keeps mortgages going, food supplies going, cars on the road, the things that your children want and need, whether it be the latest trainers or all of these Xbox chairs. And be careful, parents, if your children are into Fortnite. I'm warning you. If your children are into Fortnite, that's where the first plug's going. That's all I'm gonna say. So, I'm also part, and I'm, I'm gonna push it out to a lot of people. It's something different, and it's from the people who wanna protect against said Fortnite. And it's called the Fortnite Mental Health Toolbox, basically. I can't remember what the last word is, but it's basically to protect yourself from the ways that MK Ultra and mind control and brainwashing through the media and any form of programming channels. So television um, is a program, it's all programming. Um, quite thanks for that, Amber. So it's better with my headphones on, yeah? Cool. Um, so anyway, this Sunday, for those that know me and know me well, I try my damn best to live the way that we were instructed and given guidelines and instructions by the creator of the world himself and that means that on sunset of Friday we are all meant to basically stop the work that we do and we are all meant to rest and that means that the planet gets a chance to rest and then we basically restore um, and I'm still double checking because there's there's so many laws and so many guidelines and so many crossovers because obviously there's people that dance with the devil on a Saturday and then there's people that are tucked up in bed and this light and dark has crossed over so badly um, in the same ways I don't know if people remember the good old certification that we used to have for films and things for ch children so it was like UPG and then we would have 12, 15 and 18, and then obviously things were pornographic. Well, we live in a world now where 
what they've done is desensitized everybody that normalizes things that we shouldn't actually be tolerating and we are tolerating and it's become so normalized now that things have been protected by certain laws like i mean say you say something about the lgbt i'll tell you something lgbt i'm taking the rainbow back mate the rainbow ain't about pride <laughs> Pride is the first sin to have been created by the devil and it is the last sin that you will ever beat. With pride comes a great fall. LGBT, your fall has just begun. You will not be soliciting children anymore. You will not be adopting children anymore. And you will be going down the mental health clinic route and you will be dealing with your mummy and daddy issues. And hopefully at the end of that, you will realize that you have been dealing with, not aliens, but demons. And not demons like you think, but it is a real battle out there um, in the spiritual realm. And peace is being restructured at the moment. And I don't know what's going on. I'm blind to see everything that's going on. I just know that Mother Earth is doing, let me show you something. Look, let's go through my chaos, okay? So I've got the sofa in. So the reason this has been done is because obviously the sofa's coming in. So the sofa's here. Thank God Dean brought it through because I just could not have got it through that door by myself. So luckily, after me being a naggy bitch, actually, he'd have probably have done it if I'd asked him nicely, but I'm a right naggy bitch at the moment. So anyway, chaos here. And I'm going to have to get all of this up onto the sofa i've taken the blind down because i've had the window open and then bring the sofa in and then once the sofa's in why have i got two sofas coming in one because they were free one because i've got the other part in and two because i'm trying to create a space in here that is more like a little bit of a play zone for the kids where i can this little thing here yeah i want to be able to take the trays out in intervals because it is just too chaotic here in the one bedroom flat and I want to get rid of as much as I can but ah, but anyway come and see how quiet and beautiful it is look at this oh my goodness we've got people with masks coming on seriously like, have, have people actually been told that the XL is empty and the hospitals are empty and I have a cold, my son has a cold, and um, the boys have a cold, and people have actually been dying from the conditions that they've been struggling with, but have been actually called corona. There was even evidence that actually states that they've been falsifying and just putting corona on people's death certificates. I actually have an auntie that has been labelled as corona who has died, and I'm hoping to talk my family into trying to prove this. And I know my aunt Maureen would love for her body to come back to the family than to be the way they're going to do it because she's got corona on it. Um, let me just let this Chinese family with masks walk past. Look. They're used to wearing masks. Masks is a symbol, by the way. It basically says that you agree to being gagged is their way. You need oxygen. Look, I'm in here and my kids are getting colds and I'm getting colds because we're in here. This is it's too stuffy. We've got a light, um, economy seven heating, um, radiators, and we're getting colds because of being in here. Why do you not get colds? Because you come out here. <laughs> Look. Two birds. bus still bus bus star so that's so quiet and so peaceful so basically we have conformed to the ways of the world I haven't I, I live like this anyway so um, I'm really, 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 really hoping that people with physical conditions are going to start having the courage to come out and take their hour and start doing things that they love. Um, people seem to struggle to be normal in a, in a world around people. I do, I know that. Um, I don't lately. Um, I've been on the, this is, there's my basketball court from me. So look, there's a basketball court. So 
literally if I either go down there so I'll go around here or the trees or down here or down on the back of the court it's a shame I haven't got a camera when I do it because um, I basically just put my headphones on and go and dance and just go in my own world well actually I'll go into the spiritual realm but most people don't realise that um, and I'll go and have a fight up there um, we always win <laughs> sometimes I come out battered and bruised on a few dislocations <laughs> Um, so anyway, this is my challenge for today. I have literally got to get this. I'm trying to turn this into a jumping space. I've, I've put the bed upside down. So literally, I've put the mattress underneath the bases, one of the bases on top and one at the side, so I can try to create a jumping thing for the boys, and then the bottom one they can sleep on when it's not there. And then I can come and sit in here on the big sofa and just sit with the laptop and be able to write. And then hopefully, 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 I say this every, 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 every time. Hello, Dad. No, you're not dressed to say hello to the kids. And then hopefully by time I should, I'm not going to have all this in, no way. I'm going to have to try and put it into next week's day. But hopefully I'll have the desk sorted and these cushions in. So um, later when you dress, you can do it live on the lake and we we'll go out for a walk. Yeah. Um, so anyway, everybody's in house mode, so I'll catch you later. Thanks.